hey everyone what's up with you all hope you all are doing good welcome back to my channel this is luna the moon tarot hope you all are doing well at your end and things are going good tomorrow is new moon and the energies can be high few people can be feeling anxious unnecessary mood swings could be there and there is also an eclipse so beware just meditate and try to think positive i know that right now there may be a lot of negative thoughts that may be going on in you right now but just understand that this month remaining days because it uh you know uh the uh, uh you know there is a new moon as well as full moon and both the new moon and full moon is starting and ending along with eclipse so this month is going to be heavy the remaining days of this month is going to be very heavy so be cautious do not get uh, do not feel bogged down because right now it is the time when you do a lot of self reflection and introspection so don't worry about things just let this uh, time pass so in case if you're feeling a little bogged down or negative just tell yourself that this too shall pass because actually the eclipse season uh makes uh one a little along with new moon and uh full moon phases it will definitely impact each and every one of us right so in case if you're a subscriber do not forget to leave me a comment in case if you're a cross watcher watching this particular video do not forget to like share subscribe to my channel let's see what are the current thoughts and feelings of your person and what is your current thoughts and feelings along with the collective what is the collective energy let's start with the collective energy of your connection endurance somebody is trying to endure whatever they are going through right now in this particular connection probably one person is feeling sad bad or something trying trying to um sort of uh, i would say endure the pain and uh, somewhere down the line i feel that um either you or your person right now is trying to endure whatever things are going on in this particular connection or the relationship uh, one person seems to be enduring the pain enduring um uh, you know they are trying to push them to the limits you know and trying to keep a hold or uh, trying to get a hold on uh, themselves nervous card tells me that somewhere down the line one person is definitely nervous what is going to happen in this particular connection going forward right but definitely somebody is trying to endure whatever things are going on either you or your person right hmm let's see what is the energy card of the day what is the energy card of the day of your person hi priestess um i feel that your person right now is not uh able to understand what exactly is going on with them and what is the future holding for them they have no idea and they kind of feel a little spiritual nowadays they are kind of leaving everything on to universe and they are asking universe whatever you have in store for me i hope it is for good there are some secrets they feel that you know there are some things that they feel um somewhere down the line is meant to be but right now they are not too sure what is their future going to be at the same point of time i feel they are being very secretive within themselves spiritually connecting looking inwards today and at the same point of time i feel that uh, they may be watching tarot online or trying to be a tarot card reader learning tarot but watching videos or taking consultations here what are their current thoughts and feelings towards you right now what are the current thoughts and feelings they want to send you a message or they are expecting a message from you but most probably they want to send you a message and start a conversation i feel that uh in case if you guys are not contacting uh each other each other right um uh, 
then now they want to go ahead they want to start uh, the conversation and they want to uh, send you a message of catching up they want to see you they want to come forward they want to meet you face to face they want to party with you but for sure they want to reconcile with you in case if you guys are in a no contact situation somewhere down the line I feel that you know this person is somebody who doesn't like to go through challenges head on or face challenges had head on they kind of push back um, everyone uh, they kind of push back situation and people and challenges so sort of a very stubborn person but I feel that uh, they feel that you know you may push them away if they try to approach you so you know they want to meet you they want to see you no wonder even if they kind of stalk you and they might be just standing around yeah the place where you are living and calling you that hey you know what i am right there please come and see me they want a strong reconciliation they are missing you so bad they may be into addiction drinking a lot sort of discontent that you know they you you are not responding to them they want to see you they want to meet you they want to be with you they want to uh, they want them to choose uh, they want you to choose them and not to push them away it seems like this person is going mad after you they are kind of you know stopping endurance that's why we have this card they're kind of stopping themselves not, not themselves not to message you now let's see what is the energy card what is your energy card i see Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups tells me that somewhere down the line you are waiting for the right person to enter in your life who will bring in a lot of joy, commitment, love and emotions. Right? But the right person, it can be slow, it should grow organically but at the same point of time you are waiting for a new beginning to come in today. Today you are manifesting, today you are hoping, you are manifesting for a new beginning and somewhere down the line you want, uh, you want a carefree, careless beginning, a new life love in your life which is not too harsh somewhere down the line i feel that because of the past uh, you have been abandoned uh, in your past relationships you have been left out all alone in your past relationships and i feel that right now you're kind of feeling cold what is uh, you know there in your relationship what uh, love is bringing in your life and you're sort of cutting out this particular you know this 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 uh loop it seems you want a new beginning you want somebody who is emotional who is good who can be slow and let things uh, grow organically but a carefree careless love you're done you're cutting off the past issues it seems like with ace of swords you're cutting off the past issues past relationship people who have left you alone you're cu cutting that cutting back on that cycle on that loop and you're just moving forward with a lot of clarity and practical um and practicality you are somebody who is an achiever who is in a go-getter but i feel that somewhere down the line you are not in for people who do not understand and value you or love or relationships any which way the queen of uh, okay this is the justice card justice and uh, i was about to say queen of swords because i just saw the swords okay so the justice and three of swords tells me that somewhere down the line you may be uh, stuck up in some sort of legal complications it seems and which is breaking your heart right now it is taking away your focus from relationships uh, heartbreak and everything and you're kind of dealing with the legal issues legal battle right now uh, probably related to some paperwork business work or something it can be at the same point of time otherwise as well you're thinking about marriage and probably it is about marriage in case if you are uh, uh, divorced or in marriage you may be thinking about marriage as well how you know what is going to happen right now you're feeling that uh, you know right now i feel that uh, you are looking forward for a person who is going to be who is going to commit to you not to leave you alone uh, you know out in the cold because there are so many things that you 
your handing right now it seems like that you're on a battle right now with a broken heart following legal battles uh thinking about marriage or probably you're married and now you're thinking about separation or something or somebody is doing that to you something or the other seems an issue over here and there are a lot many regrets when it comes to the past okay there are a lot many regrets and confusion that you're battling with right now when it comes to your personal life which includes love and otherwise as well i feel that you kind of all messed up and you have so many things on your platter to handle and you're feeling all confused on all in your head though you are a go getter okay you can handle almost everything and anything but at the same point of time right now i feel that you are in an energy wherein you're feeling very lonely and you're cutting off things which do not serve you anymore feeling very very stuck what exactly is going to happen in your life feeling very stuck blindfolded feeling directionless right let's see what are your person's uh you know next actions towards you and thoughts queen of wands here queen of wands here it ended from there it started from here so this person definitely thinks of you as somebody who's a go-getter very passionate very attracted and very created uh very attracted towards you you seems to be a very creative person they want to be in a relationship with you they don't want to break up and uh you know they want to be in a partnership with you they feel a very strong connection with you they feel that right now you're just running away from them and probably uh you know they are telling themselves that you know let's just uh you know if this person is running away from me let me also go ahead and run away from them so self-sabotaging they are also feeling very lonely you're feeling lonely here they are feeling lonely here we are feeling abandoned here judgment taking a call they have taken a call right juggling they are juggling undoubtedly whether i should move on run away or i should stay in this relation because i want it they are trying to endure they are trying to stop themselves not to contact you feeling lonely but be want to be in a relationship want to reconcile but since you are uh, pushing them off they feel that you know when the other person is not looking for a relationship with me should i be moving on so they are kind of transforming even though they don't want to they are feeling lonely they don't want to but they are transforming and i see that right now they are very they are feeling very passionate towards you and they are manifesting you okay they are manifesting you and they are worried okay in the in the near future they will try each and everything to manifest you to manifest you in their life and to be with you forever by just staying away from you they will just manifest with the power of manifestation they are trying to get back they have fears that you may not be around uh you know you in in you they found a very stable connection right and they are very hopeful that things are going to turn around they are going to wait they are ready to wait right and balance it out there is an imbalance and they are ready to work on their money situation as well kind of with ace of swords i also see that you know this person is sort of cutting off uh the emotional caution they are focusing on their work on their money uh this person seems to be very impulsive so they take a decision in a jiffy right which is not good because with their decision they can't stick around they can't be stable with their decision king of wands tells me that this person is very very impulsive they are something at one time second thing another thing at the you know at uh they 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 basically their um, thought process keeps on changing they can't be stable it seems uh, that you are very that you are with a very impulsive person and the page of swords tells me that this person is a stalker trying to heal themselves though but uh, they are really really looking forward for reconciliation okay they are worried that you're going to move on so right now they feel that you know even if they are not near you they will work upon themselves to become better they will sit they will focus on their money situations uh situation they will become better they will focus on their career and uh, you know they will become practical no more emotional stuff and meanwhile they are doing that they will be waiting for you to come back right <laughs> without them taking any step or action now let's see what are your next actions towards them
healing uh temperance i feel somewhere down the line you're also healing you're trying to uh patiently heal yourself balance yourself with the king of wands you're so done with this person's in and out the impulsive behavior it seems that you know you feel that this person shows something and uh, be something else and that's why they are so in and out and that's why you have kind of energetically you have blocked them off right or in 3d world you may have blocked them off <coughs> is that the right decision i think it is right you want someone in your life who is going to give you that security, that stability, right? Who is going to be grounded, who is going to be there, stable, okay? Not the impulsive one. So I feel that you may have two choices. One person that you're trying to move on and this month I feel somebody entering in your life who will give you the stability. You're trying to be very practical and right now you don't want to speak to this person at all. In the future, you know, you're kind of looking at your life in total, doing a lot of self interest inspection page of swords tells me that you know uh, there is a stalker energy right and uh, this also says that probably they are friends they are discussing with or something or maybe you are discussing with your friends and there can be some misunderstanding that can be created you are not interested in love anymore you're feeling very discontent and somewhere down the line you are seeking an apology from this person that until unless this person won't realize what they have done and how much damage this person have caused you know i'm not gonna be accepting it i'm not gonna accept this cup of love this cup of love this person is offering and coming out yeah so you're not accepting the apology as well actually in the future if this person is sending you and this person is keeping an eye on you and i feel that you may be again you may be having two choices i don't know why but probably not right now but you may be having choices by the end of this month one person that you're moving out from and one person who will be entering you have a lot of fears and phobias it seems right a lot of fears and phobias and uh somewhere down the line um i feel that these fears and these phobias are kind of <sighs> developed or it has come uh, because of your past how you have dealt with it how your past have been sun card also tells me that you're looking for joy you're looking for freedom you're looking to be happy you're looking for that childlike uh, behavior that you used to carry in your life right oops there are three two cards that flew out let me quickly pull it up okay so they were hard to lift okay three of wands and king of cups oh my god you may be having choices just wait for it okay just wait for the choices because i see somebody either this person or somebody is coming back in your life with the offer of uh, reconciliation or a friendship but i do see that you are going to have a lot of emotional connect and communication with this person things are becoming overwhelming and overburdened but somewhere down the line with king of swords i feel that you know how many kings are you getting queen king of pentacle king of wands king of cups king of swords I feel that you are going to be, oh my god, you may even have more than two choices. <laughs> Somebody with who will have all these qualities. But you are definitely having two choices minimum and more than two. Minimum two, you definitely have which will have all these qualities. Who will have all these qualities? Wow. Just wait for the month to end okay i see a lot of you are going to be in a connection which is going to be a lot different and you'll be moving on from this person that you really want to now let's see what are the messages from this person please I just want you to be happy. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. So this person definitely wants to message you. Uh, no wonder if they do today and you may receive a message. They That message will be a very thought through one. Okay, very grounded and a thought through one. I want to kiss you. This person is definitely missing you. 
I'm sexually attracted to you. I won't give up on you, so don't give up on me. What else do we have? I'm afraid of rejection. I can't wait for the day we will start living our life together. You inspire me. I feel thankful to have you in my life. And what else? I wish we could be together right now. I'm afraid of losing you. Right, these are the few extra messages. Uh, I acted like it wasn't a big deal when it really was breaking my heart. Eye connection still affects me. I get butterflies every time my eyes lock, lock with yours and you're irreplaceable. I'm still trying to find myself. Alright guys, so that's about it. Um, So for tomorrow, that is new moon with eclipse. If you are ready for uh, healing, you can book it up. Uh, these slots are open now. Also, for this particular reading, if it resonates with you, I would suggest uh, if you are willing to move on, then do a cord cutting. If you want a reconciliation, then go for a reconciliation healing. If you want to call in your soulmate, somebody <clears throat> else in your life, like you are completely, you have given up on this connection and you want to move on, then go for a cord cutting with this person or from the past and call in your soulmate healing all right tomorrow's energy are going to be immense okay with the eclipse and new moon heading in oh god it is going to be immense so don't get anxious right now i am also getting anxious why is that so <laughs> do let me know in the comment section are you feeling anxious are you feeling those vibes those um you know, those those uh, energy wherein uh, you feel that, you know, something is not uh, going pretty okay. Why am I feeling disturbed? Why am I feeling so anxious all of a sudden? So, yeah, just take salt water bath, meditate, think positive, journal, whatever uh, you can. Because next 15 days are going to be really high. And then we have Navratri as well. So people who don't know, that's an Indian festival. Uh, that's an India, Indian, um, you know, uh, rituals that we follow. <coughs> we do rituals for a complete nine days. So, you know, the energies are going to be very positive, very high with eclipse, new moon, full moon, everything combined. Can you beat that? Majority of the people have booked a self-healing session with me. And I'm going to do a self-healing for myself as well. So book it up right now and uh, see the benefits. Thousands of my clients have benefited out of it. I'm sure you will too. So I'm going to see you later. Bye-bye.